Schools can appear to be dull places at times, but every school has a secret mathematical life that can take children out of the maths class and into the real world. A real world where mathematical magic is just waiting to happen. Look around you, you'll find it's there. We could go on a maths trail. OK children, let's count the windows. How many windows? How many panes of glass in each window? Now multiply. No, you can't use your calculator. Surely we can do better than that. We might need to plan a bit. Are the student's best friend Google? You'll get hundreds of hits, but not all of it is good. Obviously we leave the building, but hold on, we just can't let those children loose. A good trail uses features unique to the place. After all, if you could do it in class, why would you bother going out? It also requires that you have clear objectives. I suppose the curriculum would be a good starting point for those. Closed questions have only one possible answer, but open questions are much more challenging. And don't forget to check your school's field trip policy and the geography teacher guidelines. <laughs> Marino College is kind of like a big school. So what does it have in common with schools? Well, it has plenty of windows and plenty of floors. And there's lots and lots of objects around the place. That's good for a start. Windows are not just a pain in the neck, you know. How many of these lines are parallel and how could you check? Look at this lovely curved window. Design another. Oh, a circular window. But in a triangular roof. Beautiful stained glass offers wonderful opportunities for shape and space activities. And is this window really symmetrical? Hiding behind the flame tree is a vast array of shapes and size of window, which is the most commonly used shape for windows. Floors. Floors can be outdoor too. As you go for your coffee break, have you really looked at what's beneath your feet? And will the shadow rectangle say the same length all day? Gym markings offer lots of opportunities for exploring the properties of circles in a practical way. And don't forget the semicircles either. The revolving doors show angles as measure of rotation, a difficult concept for children to grasp. Making a model revolving door would integrate very well with science. Many schools have a pond. Are these circles or spirals? And how many ways could you run up these stairs? And finally, objects. What better way to show multiplication than through practical use of arrays? Maths is everywhere, as number and as shape. You could just count the tiles, but why not design a new set showing the name of your school? Are all tiles rectangular? This 45 degree angle is on an old sundial. Ah oh well, back to the maths room. So, schools are just like Merino. They have exactly the same elements. And very often they're beside a church with lovely stained glass windows. Just ask permission first. Here's a magnificent local church, full of beautiful and interesting shapes. So whether your school is old, very old, or new, it will probably have a gym hall. Car park. What's the average size of car parking space required? And don't forget the yard markings. Let's pop back inside the classroom. You're likely to be doing symmetry in art, or making models in geography, or creating 3D shapes in maths. But try not to bore them rigid. 
just occasionally ditch the tens and units. Grab a trundle wheel, forget the worksheet and get out there into the environment. Look around the locality for interesting opportunities.